Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 8, the Bible reads, The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Yeah, we see the natural things dying off. We see the grass, you know, it comes, it goes, it dies away. But you know what? The word of our Lord, the word of our God, it lasts forever. It never ends. Now, if it was just referring to the actual autograph, the one that was actually written down or penned down by David, it would be like the grass. It would be there, it would wither, it would fade. Notice the contrast is saying, but the word of God is different. It's not just here today, gone tomorrow. As soon as it arrives, it's there forever. Now, obviously, we know the word of God has been around forever, but when God revealed it unto man, it's everlasting. It doesn't, it doesn't go away. Uh, Isaiah 59, check out a verse here, Isaiah 59, verse 21. The Bible reads, As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee and my words, which I have put in thy mouth. Again, just showing that the inspiration of God's word. What we have in the Bible is not just the words of man. This is God putting his words in someone's mouth. Going, I have a word for you to speak. You speak this. This is why they say, thus saith the Lord. Because they're his words, not their own. He's using man and putting his words in their mouth. This is how we receive Holy Scripture. My spirit that is upon thee and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed. Seed saith the Lord from henceforth and forever. Well, it sounds to me like they're going to have the word of the Lord being spoken forever. Your seed, your seed, seed, your children, your grandchildren, forever. Just continuing on. These words perpetuate forever. Psalm 12 says that. Isaiah 59 says that. Matthew chapter 5. Okay, Jesus Christ says in verse 17, Think not that I am come to destroy the law. What's the law? The law or the prophets. Law and the prophets of the Old Testament, my friends. You've got the law, the books of Moses, and you've got the prophets. Major prophets, minor prophets, words of God. Think not, I am come to destroy the law of the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, Jesus Christ speaking, till heaven and earth pass. Heaven and earth haven't passed yet. Still here. Last I checked. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Law's, law's there. Remains. We've got the law. It hasn't been corrupted. None of it has passed. One, not one, not even the crossing of a T. Not the dotting of an I. Not one little stroke has, is gone. It's all still there. 